So one of the questions we get a lot around here is about immunity and how much immunity you need to casually stroll through the lake of rot without getting rotted, because that place is just the worst. And there's a huge dragon kin to fight there, and Aeonian butterflies you can farm there, and it would be a lot better if there was no fear of rot. So to test it out, we first have to go for a stroll out in the rot with a normal baseline of immunity. You do level immunity with both vigor and with equipment, but you can see that it doesn't take long for our little stroll to have dire consequences. Now, we get ourselves all dressed up in our Tuesday rot walking vest and crank our immunity up as high as we can get it to go. We've got some charms helping out a bunch and the full mushroom set, as well as some jerky. If there's a difference, we'll be sure to see it. And there is indeed a difference, but not in the outcome, only in the delay. And I think the best way to see this is with a side-by-side -side comparison. You see, immunity, focus, robustness, etc. don't act like damage negation, where it takes off some of the rot or poison or sleep buildup before it gets applied. Rather, it only increases the size of the bar that needs to be filled before the status is propped. Even so, having a high immunity only grants a few extra seconds of rot freeness in the lake. For true immunity, however, you'll have to talk to our resident member of the Brotherhood of the Rot, Elpheus. Yes, the only way to be truly free of the damaging effects of the rot is to give yourself over to its embrace and stop worrying about taking damage. If the rot wishes you dead, you'll be dead. And that's a good thing. It's also a good thing to subscribe to the backlog and become one with the log pile. And until next time, we'll rot with you later.